I want to say what I want to say is what you don't understand I mean like Bishop Oman this is division one I mean it's the only place in the San Gabriel Valley to be exposed to the to the best program to the best coaching and, and, and to the best possible competition it's it's Bishop Oman there's it's not even close and nothing nothing's gonna be given to you and you can't assume anything He's got to work hard every day. It's a game at a time. You can't be looking forward to anything after that. It's just, and uh, it should be, it should that, be good. that good. Hi, this is Pat Hayden. I happily graduated from Bishop Mont in 1971 and a proud member of the uh, Bishop Mont Hall of Fame as well. You know what I remember most about playing football at Bishop Mont, really my entire experience there was, was it was just spectacular, everything about it. I don't think I could have had a better experience anywhere as a student and as an athlete. And thanks to some amazing teammates around me, we were lucky enough to win a CIF championship way back in 1970. I want to wish you and Coach Haggerty luck this season. Hope you all have a great, great year. Go Lancers! I'm John McKay, graduated Bishop of Mont High School in 1971. I'm a Bishop of Mont Hall of Fame member and proud to be one. My greatest memory at playing football at Bishopmont came my last game there. We played it in the LA Coliseum. We won the CIF championship 18 to 17 over Lakewood High School. I remember thinking it doesn't get any better than this. I want to wish good luck to Coach Haggerty and, and the team this year. I, I will be watching you closely. Uh, go Lancers. Hello Lancers. This is Troy Ozine, class of 1987 and the newest member of the Bishop of Mont Hall of Fame. My time at Bishop Lamont helped lay the foundation to the preparation of becoming a professional athlete. Learning how to set goals and developing the daily discipline needed to achieve them is a valuable lesson that I've taken with me throughout my career. I'd like to wish good luck to Coach Haggerty and this year's Lancer football team. Go Lancers! When I arrived there, it was Tailback University, run out of the eye. And and, the, and I missed the enemy by a year, but the first guy I saw was Mazio Royster. What a special player. The quarterback was uh, J.R. Phillips, and he was probably the best athlete on the field in playing quarterback. And, but uh, it, it was special after that. It was nothing but tailbacks after that. Galen McCutcheon, I might say, add, might be the, the best pure athlete I've ever seen there. This is Dalen McCutcheon, Bishop of my class of 95. When I look back over my football career, I feel like Bishop of my is where my football foundation was laid. At Almont, I learned about work ethic, teamwork, sacrifice, and loyalty. Almont is so much bigger than me. It's bigger than you. It's about a tradition of success and strength and family of many that came before us and many that are gonna come after us. And it's, it's so special to be a part of, to go out there and wear that uniform. Don't take it for granted. Work hard, believe in each other. Go out there, leave it all out on the field. Bring home that ring, I'm blue. Hello Lancers, this is Will Hans Ely, member of the 1992 CIF Championship Team and Class of 1993. Bishop Almont is where I formed lifelong friendships with my former teammates and coaches. Through those relationships, I was fortunate enough to learn pride, structure, and discipline, all while playing for one of the best programs in the country. I want to wish Coach Haggerty, the coaching staff, and the Lancers the best of luck in the upcoming 2015 football season. Mighty are the men who wear the blue and gold. On Blue. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know, I I haven't had a good time in a long time, you know, I I'm way up, I feel blessed Way up, I feel blessed I'm way up, I feel blessed Way up, I feel blessed Character 
It's written, inscribed, and engraved all over you. It is your underlying core. It has an unspoken power. It is solid, resolute. It does not blink. It is a series of decisions and choices that you make as you grow and mature. It must be forged through the years of hard work and discipline. These are the key aspects of life that me and my teammates learned and inherited as a young student athlete at Bishop Vermont. This is a big year for you guys. Make sure your character is truly defined by what you put into all the aspects of what you're trying to build for this season. Do not take it for granted. Eric Bienemy, Bishop Vermont, class of 1987. Mighty are the men who wear the blue and gold. The 95 team was like, it was deflate. I mean, nobody had that expectation of being this great ball club. But I'm going to tell you something with um, just having watched how hard they played and Ralph Brown just pounding the line of scrimmage and Brian Russell just not making mistakes. I mean, nobody saw this coming. CF champions, man. You know, uh, the sad part about it is uh, that's the last one. And hopefully this year we're going to change things. I went to the Bishop of Vermont so I can carry on a football tradition that had been built many years before me so I can strap on my helmet and be proud and wear that Amon A that sticks on the side of it. I went to Bishop of Vermont to continue the commitment of excellence and to forge and build relationships that last forever. I went to Bishop to play for some of the top high school coaches in all of the country. And it's been 20 years since we've brought home a championship. What a better time than to do it this year. You guys have the perfect group of guys, guys who've paid the price, guys who are ready, guys who have sacrificed. This is a great year. This is your year. It's a special year. And you guys can do it. We all believe in you. We're all watching, and we all love you. Ralph Brown, class of 1996. You heard from the greats. I represent the other 99%. The guys who won't play D1 on Saturdays and will never play on Sundays. The guys who will only have these years to look back on. The reason our team was so successful, each and every one of us had a sense of accountability, had a stake in the game. The Gatorade Division I CIF Player of the Year wasn't a quarterback, a receiver, a running back. It was a 5'8", 5'9", 200 and something pound nose guard that refused to be blocked. Looked across the line and said, you won't beat me. That's the attitude we shared. But more importantly, times that effort by the 60 plus guys on scout team every day in practice. Accountability to your teammates who shed the same blood, sweat and tears at Kiefer Stadium. That's why we were successful. Superstars will make their plays, but the other 99% have to have a stake in the game. Our history has been written, the book is open, the page is blank, and the pen is in your hand. Proud member of the Hall of Fame, first team in California to go 15-0, Reebok Bowl and Division I CIF champion, Paul Shea. Mighty are the men who wear the blue and gold. On blue. But you know what, I'm gonna tell you what, Toriano Sweet, I gotta hope when this season is over, is mentioned in the same breath.
everybody wants a piece here. You're going to get everybody's best game. If you walk into any situation, you open it up against modern day, which could easily be a Seattle championship game. And if you're not ready, hey, you know, if, you know, you're, you're going to be, you could be in trouble. I mean, it's that's what Bishop of my football is. You got to rise to it. You guys can do it. We all believe in you. We're all watching. And we all love you. Go Lancers. Go Lancers. Go Lancers. Mighty are the men who wear the blue and gold. Mighty are the men who wear the blue and gold. On blue. Mighty are the men who wear the blue and gold. Don't take it for granted. Work hard. Believe in each other. Go out there, leave it all out in the field. Bring home that ring. I'm blue.